being compared to the 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol, uh, what are the similarities of these incidents? Yeah, it's almost eerie how many similarities there are. Uh, we had the worst of uh, Brazilian society, uh, white supremacy, fascism, uh, complete lack of uh, uh, democratic integrity on display yesterday. Even Bolsonaro himself, who's been the ringleader of this uh, fascist circus, is trying to distance himself uh, right now from what occurred. Uh, Trump has been silent on truth uh, social. And very mysteriously, uh, <laughs> Jair Bolsonaro is actually in a hospital in Orlando, Florida, complaining of uh, stomach pains. It's only Steve Bannon and Breitbart this, thus far who has, who has celebrated what happened yesterday. This was a miserable failure. Uh, somewhere in the range of seven to perhaps 10,000, uh, I don't think we can call them demonstrators or protesters, I think we have to call them what they are, violent coup mongers. Uh, their plan failed miserably, and what was left was wanton destruction in their wake. Uh, there were more selfies with police officers than actual arms, and they went there to destroy uh, the very symbols of the Brazilian federal government. Everyone is trying to distance themselves from these throngs of, of coup mongers. We've heard the denunciations coming from um, the squad, from uh, even Bill Clinton. Lula just uh, finished a phone call with uh, Bill Clinton, is, uh, along with other uh, world-renowned uh, personalities. So anyone who would have uh, supported this, the Trumps and, and, and Bolsonaro himself, they're trying to opportunistically jump ship right now because of uh, what a miserable failure it was. Okay, so uh, Kamala, you just heard our other guests 